This episode brought to you by AwesomeDrinks.com. Like cool stuff? Want to save 15% on it? Use coupon code SPRING14. Why spend your money somewhere else when you can be awesome? Welcome to Call of Mad Cocktails. I'm your host, Derek Schomer, and I'm solo all week because Ian decided to go out to some charity event or something, and lol, and blah, he's gone. So, uh, Whatever. We're so much better than charity. <laughs> I know. It's free alcohol. That's like charity. Um, next week, however, I b- believe I've got a plan in place to have my buddy Rob come in because we got to do the golf cocktails. And we had five submissions, which is good because we do five shows in a week. So I will be recording next week all of the golf cocktails for our cocktail contest. Then we'll announce a winner for Rob's balls, the three up set, and our golf head. Oh, is that no golf club? Cover. cover. We'll go with the golf club cover for your golf clubs, and it's, it's pretty badass. So we'll do those next week and pimp all their products in the URLs again. Uh, you can go check our golf contest to see what the rules and stuff were, but you can't submit because it's too late. Anyway, we're making a drink called the Cushion High Tide. T I A, like Thailand, I guess. D. A little tick mark. This is submitted by Antonin. I believe Antonin found this. I wouldn't doubt he found it on the Crujan website because it's got Crujan peach rum, Crujan estate double diamond dark rum, uh, Patron citronge here, uh, fresh lime juice, an ounce and a half of uh, almond syrup. I've got some almond syrup here, but if you're looking for it in the store, our buddy Joe just picked this up. We actually brought it to him while he was at work uh, because it's cool having fans that are actually local. And... We have some smaller bottles here. We now. have two sizes now. Two sizes, but one's out of stock, so this is the one you want to buy. A friend of the show. <laughs> a friend of the show. Yeah, I always say that. A friend of the show. Uh, so that's what we're going to make. Shake, strain, double old-fashioned glass. We're going to put it in sprig mint garnish. So when I saw this recipe, I was like, dude, I'm going to buy a sprig mint, and I'm going to put it in as a garnish, and that's it. So I said, screw that. I got mint over here. I think you guys can see it. And that mint is going to be used in pretty much all but one recipe, I think. And I figure if I'm going to have to buy a mint, because it's not yet growing, we're going to buy more mint, too, because I only have chocolate mint. Then I'll, I just want to use it. I don't want to throw it all out. I'm not going to use mint. So you'll see some muddle in action, perhaps, this week. Two ounces of Cruja Peach. Oh, check this out. I, for, I was supposed to do this ahead of time, so it didn't look like I wasn't not planning this. So we also, I, these should be in the store come by the time this video comes up. I want to test them, though, since I've never used them. They're like speed bottle openers, or speed pours, but they've got like little tops on them. So this could be kind of cool. I'm gonna do two ounces of peach rum. Two ounces! And the cool thing about these is <laughs> that, loud. yeah, it's got, cause it's got air. Gotta have some control. We're gonna do two ounces of peach rum. And then we have our state double diamond. Oh, are these the, the big bottle? Oh, that's cool. So the other thing I didn't bring down is you'll see that this is a huge problem, right? You can have these pours, but oh, look, they don't fit because the bottle's too big. I got fat ones now. I saw these at one of the distributors. I'm like, I got to carry those because when you get bottles like this, people get frustrated because they can't actually put a speed pour on them because they're too big. So I got some fat pours too. I thought that would be pretty cool. Ugh. In case you guys like to use speed pours on fatter bottles. Really, I'm thinking like the 1800 bottles is what they're really going for. Even worse than the Patron bottle, but not necessarily so well, not this Patron, by the way, but the real Patron bottle. It works, you just have to fight with it for a little bit, which is what I was testing. I don't like to sell things I don't actually use yet. An ounce, so now you're gonna have tons of rum, tons of peach. This is a heavy, like, this is, there's a lot going on. This is drink is not for the weak at heart, because you're gonna be a hurting puppy. So we're gonna need an ounce and a half of fresh lime juice. This is the most expensive cocktail of the season. Limes, there's a little bit of a lime shortage. See this lime? It looks like it's dying. This is a, this lime cost me a buck for this. Because of the drug cartels. Oh, really? The drug cartels? Mm-hmm. That's what we're going with? Mm-hmm. And you hear this where? Colbert. <laughs> oh, Colbert. It must be true. Uh, we're going to do, what did I say, an ounce and a half? No, I don't know where I heard that, actually. Oh, can I do an ounce and a half in here? Yes, I can. Whoosh. Boom. Boom. It's going to take forever. Bing. Boom. 
I'm going to need yet another lime. That's the problem with limes. You get basically an ounce out of a lime. And I need an ounce and a half. No, this should be fine. That's, they're tiny limes. Damn it. Antonin, you're costing me. Do, 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 do. There we go. Perfect. So now, add that in. Where'd my drink go? Right here. Yeah, the Mexican cartel war. Told you. It's a Mexican cartel war? They yeah. weren't, he's not joking? No. Really? Lime skyrocketed from $100 for a 40 pound box up from $25 a year ago. Wait, what was it? Now it's $100 for a 40 pound box. It was $25 a year ago. That's a lot of difference. And why is Mother this? Mother Nature had been threatening the limes in severe drought, followed by the spread of bacterial diseases. Right. Uh, that attacked citrus trees, then by a harsh winter that killed tree blossoms, blah, blah, blah. So was it the cartel, or was it the fact that there was a... I thought it was there was a drought, no, or... In the southwestern state of... I'm going to mess that up. You know, a state in Mexico. Yep. <laughs> where lime, most of the limes are grown, the notorious Knights Templar gang started hijacking lime trucks and demanding ransom from farmers. Since what? the limes are so valuable, nearly 300000 per truck, a farmer usually paid the extortion fee and moved along. But some were putting their lives on the line to protect their livelihood from the cartel. Okay. But there was a shortage and the cartel took advantage of the shortage. Right? Well, it was... Starting to threaten as a shortage, yeah. Right. Dude, we just need to make our own lives. What people say about our government, at least we don't do stupid things like that. We do some stupid things. Don't get me wrong. But at least when you go to work, you're not like worried about getting killed on your way there. Unless you work in like some place where you can get killed, like, I don't know, somewhere not around here. I mean, we're in the ghetto. That, was that was that the that's, joke? That's what uh, Ian said. Yeah. yeah. So this looks like a sour drink, but not really. I think I wanted a. Really, this needs to go in some sort of tiki glass. But uh, what we're gonna do? Ching! Yes, we're in Roxbury. We're in Roxbury. Slap it. Boom. Throw it in there. Let it suck up on some of the. This glass makes that little mint sprig look tiny. Boom. Done. Smells like mint. I love mint. <laughs> wow. 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 I hope I don't get hijacked by having all this limes. lime. No, you need a lot more. They don't care about your six limes. This is insanity. Try that again. It starts out sweet. Over almost like you're about to get this like sickly, gross, like syrupy sweetness. Although the texture's still there for that. Uh, it like it starts to build and build and then it turns sour. Like it goes sweet, 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 sour. Then you get your like this waterfall of peaches in your face. It's like a sweet tart. Is it like a sweet tart? It's like a peach sweet tart. Let me try that again. Because the finishes, it finishes out like um, like a cough medicine, like a flavored cough medicine. Wow, that is sweet, but then not. But then tart. It's got some acidity. I would hope it's gonna. If you think about this, that's an ounce and a half of, there's like 17 dollars in limes in here. And it doesn't give you, I mean, you get that thick acidity, like a fresh lemonade or limeade, but you don't get massive amounts of, of, of sour bite. Cause I mean, you can get over the top sour. This, not so much because you've got the, the sweetness of the Crujan peach. You've got the sweetness of the almond syrup playing in here against that lime. So they're really struggling it out in your mouth. And the finish is, I want to say alcohol, but it's it's like a flavory, these are sticky again. Very hard to pin down. 
it's getting a little easier to, to drink it. The, the first time, the first sip of the day drinking alcohol, my palate was just not ready for it. We had much more medicinal flavor to it. Now it's it's turning, getting a little bit on the sweeter side, but the, the alcohol is definitely subsiding as, as your face goes, oh, okay, it's Friday night. I got it. It's all good. Uh, but definitely interesting. Uh, I would say my mint is all melting here. This is a drink. First off, if it doesn't give you diabetes, you're going to get super drunk. Um, it has pretty intense peach, but the peach is, peach and the lime is different. I'm not really used to that. And, it, and it's different in a good way. This is very tiki like. This is in the spirit of tiki. It's got the bite. It's got the, it's got the sweetness. All kind of counterbalanced and playing against each other. And it has the intense alcohol. The only thing it's missing is a 151 on the top or some Crucian black strap across the top. I think we're going to do that later this week, actually, because I think Joe submitted one that has something like that. But this is, this is fun. This is a good, if you're going to do a tiki party this summer, spring, or just because you want to, this is a good addition to it because it plays in that realm. And I think the sweetness will be a turn on for those that like a sweeter drink. The potency for those that just like to feel like a man and drink, oh, I got to drink a lot of alcohol. Um, and then that little sour bite for those that just don't like super, super sweet action. We used the peach schnapps last week in the fuzzy navel and it turned out to definitely tame down that sweetness and make it something that somebody who's not a big sweet tooth drinker can consume. This falls in that same vein because of the balance of the most expensive lime in the world against um, the, 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 the uh, sweetness of the almond syrup and a little bit of the peach. Although this isn't as sweet as peach schnapps, so don't go thinking that's what it is. Um, overall, I think you could probably buy a bottle of the Estate Diamond um, Dark Rum, blended five years or older, for less money per volume than limes. Truth. Truth be told. So, I haven't checked all the comments for Friday's episode, so I don't know if people left us questions of the day, so we'll have to do those next week. Um, question of the day that I'm going to have to make up on the fly, unless somebody in the chat room's got something for us. No. That's a wild old fashioned glass for people who want to know. You know what else? I think the key component that I keep picking out is like a sherry brown sugar. Almost starts to head towards the sherry herring, sherry herring, but then herring, whatever. And then comes back right before it gets to the to the Bing cherry flavor. This would this could be even better with a little subtle note or some maraschinos on there or um, cherry bitters from from Fee. Uh, cranberry, chocolate, I have them around here somewhere. You know what, my kids took them. I wonder if I ever brought them back down. Uh, yep, they're there. I'm gonna put them in there. I'm not even gonna be able to taste drink. No, nope, I'll, we'll try this later. But for those in the live stream, you should always visit us. It's, uh, I think it's live.everydaydrinkers.com marks, or you could go to ustream.com slash Everyday drinkers or user everyday drinkers or just type in the search bar. You could follow us that way. You'll know when we go live on that 6:30. It's right, it's in the back of the it's in the show ending when uh, the music plays. So you can check those out. The cherry bitters. These things are super awesome. You know what? Call. There's a question of the day. Question of the day. Which sour component do you prefer, lemon or lime? Sour component, lemon or lime. Which one? That's what a lemon looks like in our country. This is what a lime looks like. That's reversed some places. So. I like to smash them together myself. Although compared to this, this is a nice juicy thing. This is a little hard. Uh, I'm really pissed off about this lime shortage. Freaking cartels. So what, and you know what? If that's not good enough, what is the next sour component you like? Most of you are probably gonna say grapefruit juice. Ah, not a big fan of grapefruit juice. But let us know. What is your sour? And you can even play in the tart region of that. Also, check us out on uh, patreon.com slash cmc. Again, at the end of the thing, it's got a little money roll next to it. That's where you can donate to the show if you like us enough to send us money to keep the lights on. That's it. We're done. Check us out on everydaydrinkers.com. You can buy all your glasses and bitters and shakers at awesomedrinks.com. Like always, we're done. We're teaching you how to drink.